Welcome. And in today's video, as we can see outside here, a little bit hard to see, we are going to be running in the snow. Yes. So I'm going to share a few tips that I have for running in the snow and in cold weather in general, and I'll bring you along with the ride. All right, when it comes to planning and when it comes to safety, know your route. And I can't emphasize this enough because uh, whether you're choosing your route from your smartphone or you're going and having a pre-planned route or better yet, try to find a buddy or two to go along with the run. Uh, it's always better to know what is the route that you're going to take because the last thing you want to do is if you happen to have an accidental fall or if you happen to run into any type of trouble when out there, uh, just like with any other type of typical run, uh, you want to be able to know, okay, what's kind of your backup plans. And it's important to know what are the conditions that are out there in terms of uh, what type of snow is it? Is it going to be really slushy or is it just uh, very much like powder or a mix? And if you've run that trail before and uh, now it's just a snow rather than just flat pavement or rather than um, some of the off-road uh, dirt, then it's good and it will give you that familiarity such that you could be more confident going out there. And what's also going to be important is a plan to have what is the right equipment that you want to be wearing. And I'll get into that in the next few sections here. But again, know what you're going into and have a plan around how you're going to execute on this run because safety is first when running in the snow. All right, so when it comes to equipment, there's lots of many choices that you can have out there. So what I'm going to explain a little bit is just some of my personal preferences. And feel free to leave down a comment below in terms of what your ideas and what your thoughts are when it comes to being warm. And it's why it's really important to wear the right equipment when it's snowing or when it's just simply cold out and when you're running in the snow. But to first start off with, what I recommend folks is to wear a base layer, and the one I have is like this. Something that's not too thick, not too thin, but enough to get you slightly warm, and then a thicker outer layer like this particular sweater, which is a running specific sweater. And to wear the layers on top of each other is to be able, will allow you to provide multiple layers of protection when in the snow, and also to keep you warm and toasty in colder weather running. And speaking of multiple different layers, there's also different types of gloves. And I have two examples on here with me. Uh, these both I just got at Costco. So these are just uh, simple thinner layer gloves for those that get their hands really warm or if you're someone who doesn't really get warm much at all, feel too free to wear something that's a little bit thicker. I do recommend more of a running style glove for those that are running out there, but feel free to wear whichever gloves are going to allow you to provide enough ventilation and also keep your extremities warm. The last thing you want to have is anything that you're wearing get too wet because when it gets exposed to really cold temperatures, then of course it's not going to feel really good and you're going to be cold and damp most of the time. When it comes to sock choice, uh, with snow running sometimes, the snow, uh, depending on what type of leg gear that you have, uh, I typically go and wear something slightly thicker. These are stride lines. They make amazing running socks. These are more or less uh, more all around purpose, but these can be used for running. I would recommend thermal running socks if you have them or uh, if you don't already. Uh, but anything that is going to be a little bit warmer, but not such that you don't have any circulation in your feet. So you want to make sure that you can have something that breathes a little, but provides a little bit of more of that comfort and insulation. And it's going to be important to wear something that is more comfortable because when you're out there and running in the snow, it's like trail running. So you want your socks to be able to have a little bit of extra feet with it. In addition, of course, like with any other cold weather running, uh, I typically wear some sort of thermal band, uh, such as this, uh, right behind the cap. So I'll just show as an example here. Go wear the cap and then have this uh, go and cover the ears uh, right behind 
just like this. And this helps to keep the head warm. And again, as I point out, keep that core warm. And there's multiple iterations. Uh, you can wear, people wear beanies, uh, which also work really well. Uh, the key is to make sure that you can get enough moisture wicking, but just enough out there so that you're not feeling like your ears are incredibly cold, but not that you're sweating buckets either. And then we move on to the shoes. One of the things to consider about when choosing your equipment for running out in the snow is going to be the type of shoe equipment. One thing that you'll definitely want to take a look at is what type of treading that you have. Ideally, you want to have some treading that is available on your shoe, something that can provide some grip. What I have here are Hoka AT Challenge ATR 6s, and they have a very good amount of grip, as these are designed for off-road. And snow, running in the snow is going to be similar to running in the off-road. Um, and so having shoes that have some grip is going to be beneficial. Alternatively, you can consider to also have something like these that I'm showing in front of here, like Yak Tracks, and you can outfit them into not only your off-road shoes, but any other type of typical running shoes to provide you that little bit of extra grip. Because after all, the grip is going to be one of the biggest things when it comes to running in the snow. As you can see out here, it's pretty slippery around my place. And so it's going to be important to make sure that you take it easy when you're going out and running. The last thing you want to do is to start running and uh, start to slip. And so when what I recommend folks do when they only haven't, uh, haven't really had experience running out in the snow is to more or less take their time. You do not want to rush any of this. And the last thing you want to do is to go too fast too soon. That being said, it's really pretty out. And so one of the things you really want to do here is to take your time with traffic, as you can see. Let the cars through and you'll be fine out there. And make sure that you take your time and around these areas because it is going to be a little bit slick in some places. And if you are a beginner, you do not want to run out into the icier portions, which is where a lot of the cars run on. So here, you actually want to go and find a little bit of snow because the snow will provide more traction compared to the actual other parts of the road surface. Another tip when running out in icier weather is to go and increase your cadence and take slightly shorter steps. And part of that it's such that you can get a little bit of better grip when you're out there running in the snow. And plus, if there is a little bit of a slip in a sudden place that you didn't anticipate, you have a little bit of extra time to go and react to it. And so, if you haven't done already, know how to increase your cadence just a touch and take it a little bit easier. And you're gonna enjoy that run a lot more. One of the most important things when going out and running in the snow is enjoy the view. Snowy runs don't often come, especially here in the Seattle area and in many places of the world. Snow doesn't come as often anymore. So go and enjoy it and go and take in the time to go and enjoy the environment and know that this doesn't come in a while. So take your time. So I hope that you found these tips really helpful when running out in the snow. If anything, snow running actually is just like trail running in many ways, if not just as pretty, if not even more pretty. Uh, imagine now doing the snow running in the trails. So again, I hope these, I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification for future videos that I do post. And of course, leave a comment down below in terms of what are your suggestions for going out there and running in the snow. And most importantly, have fun doing it. Uh, it doesn't snow that often, and when it does, why not take advantage of it rather than be cuddled inside of the home? So until then, 
I'll see you in the next one.